Hello everyone, in this video I want to demonstrate a fix for my four wheel drive actuator on my 2007 Toyota Tacoma. Now for this video purpose um, you don't see me actually driving down the street trying to engage four wheel drive. Um, that's when I noticed the problem. What I'm doing in this video was when I would be sitting still and turning the switch to engage four wheel drive I was trying to hear if anything was trying to turn or engage underneath the truck and all I could hear was a clicking sound so that's what this video is going to demonstrate first is the noises you can hear with the motor off and sitting still and as you can see here on the light for the full drive uh, flashing steadily means that it's not engaging this is what you would see when driving down the road um, so anyway, it also does the same thing with sitting still because it's currently in two-wheel drive. This is the actuator motor off of a 2007 Toyota Tacoma. Um, there are a few videos floating around on YouTube of how to solder the points right here on the motor. I'm trying to get this where you can see it in the light. These two points. Um, I got mine apart. This thing is pretty clean and these points were in contact. So the theory of the soldering needing to be added and the connection being broken is not always the case. What I found was um, when taking this little 9 volt battery as a jumper to try to get it going. I'll see if I can demonstrate this while I'm talking here. But it wasn't moving. And I thought, okay, that's strange. So I've tried various batteries, like, you know, truck batteries and whatnot, and figured out that this motor was just not working. So what I did was I stuck this side to the negative post on my uh, battery in the, in the Tacoma, actually under the hood. And I used this little wire here to jump from the positive side to this. So negative to one side, positive to the other and I could feel it kind of tick it a little bit and then this little gear here slowly started spinning. I kept power on there until this little gear and motor finally freed up and spun. So then once I had it spinning for 30, 40 seconds, I swapped the power uh, leads around and I went negative and positive and I rotated it in the reverse direction. So basically this little motor was frozen. Um, I was ready to get on the internet and order me a replacement, and I might still do that, but I was honestly hoping to get this thing working because I've got this off the front of my truck, and I don't want my truck to be sitting for days with a part hanging off of it. Um, so in a pinch, I just was able to free up this motor, and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate real quick if I can and hold the camera here. This battery does not have a lot of volts left in it, so this is not gonna spin as fast as it does when hooked up to the truck battery, but this will give you an idea. It is now spinning. So there you have it. It spins so much faster with 12 volts. Again, this has probably got like six volts left in it. It's an old battery that I found. There you go. So before you jump to conclusions and try just soldering, um, test this motor when you pull this apart. Make sure it's not locked up or stuck. If it's stuck, give it 12 volts. If you kind of work it and go reverse the polarity, try it one direction, try it the other, see if this frees up. Um, this was actually spinning and it wasn't locked up, but this part, the motor itself was frozen. So just a quick little tip on four wheel drive actuators for a 2007 uh, Toyota Tacoma. Hope this uh, helps somebody out. 